Today I'm going to share some sales on eBay and hopefully you guys can come across some of these items or some of these brands while you guys are out there sourcing at some of these thrift stores or garage sales and hopefully it can help you guys increase your sales. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first up is this Logitech X530 surround sound speaker system and these speakers are computer speakers and I typically sell these at least once or twice a month. This is an older model and I don't remember exactly when it came out but every time I sell them it's usually around 70 to sometimes 80 or 90 dollars depending on the market. Right now as you guys know certain items aren't selling for as much as they used to so I ended up putting this item on sale. Um, I think I originally listed it at $79.99 and I had a 10% markdown going on at the time and it sold about two days after that sale started. So very good deal at the end of the day. There are about six items in total with this set. It was some surround sound speakers as well as the subwoofer and I just charged shipping for this item as well. And I try to always make sure that I have a box for these larger items because that can be something that can kind of get in the way anytime you sell some of these larger items, especially something as large as a subwoofer. And this item sold pretty quickly. And for the entire set, I only spent about 12 bucks. So overall, I made a decent amount of profit. Next up, we got the Canon PowerShot G9. And I tell you guys all the time, uh, older cameras, older digital cameras, and even film cameras are some of my favorite stuff to sell on eBay because they always sell really, really quickly. This camera in particular, I tried to take just a bunch of photos of the actual camera and showing that the camera was working because sometimes you might even be able to sell these cameras for parts, but this camera was in really good condition and it was working fine. So I just wanted to make sure that the buyer knew that the camera was actually working. So so I literally just took a picture of me taking a picture of the camera taking a picture. So this was a really good sale. Ended up selling for 189 bucks plus shipping. And I spent about $12 on this camera. Uh, the only thing is that I also had to pay for the battery and the charger for it as well. And anytime I come across digital cameras that may need a charger, may need a battery, I would just go on eBay to buy an aftermarket charger or battery. And they're usually like seven to $12, but you don't necessarily have to do that, but by adding the actual charger or the battery definitely adds a ton of value and just makes that item sell a lot faster. So without the, you know, additional pieces, this may have sold for maybe 150, maybe $140. And I may have had to wait a lot longer, but I figured let me go ahead and spend the extra 10 to $12 on this and get an extra $40 in overall profit. So it is what it is. Definitely happy with this sale. Anytime you come across anything Canon, even the older uh, point and shoot cameras, definitely grab those up. Next up, we have these Zmodo home security cameras, and I love selling camera equipment, audio equipment, but home security cameras always sell for me uh, fairly quickly, anytime I can get my hands on them. I picked these up from the Goodwill, and it was a bag of them. It was maybe like 10 or 12 of these in the bag. Some of them was pretty beat up, so I didn't sell all of them, but these were in the ones that was in best condition, and I sold them as a lot for 60 bucks. I was originally asking for 70 bucks, and someone sent me an offer for 60, and I I went ahead and accepted that and like I said these types of cameras sell pretty quickly for me Z Moto whether it's uh, whether it's the cameras itself or even if you can find the DVR setup that always sells for like sometimes a hundred to 150 depending on the model but Z Moto is definitely a really good brand to be on the lookout for especially if you guys are out there selling electronics next up we got this Medi Rub back massager and I love selling back massagers or foot massagers or anything like that because they usually sell sell for a decent amount of profit. The only issue with this one is that it didn't have the actual logo on the item, but since I have so much experience selling these type of stuff, I knew this one was the Medirub brand. So for that reason, I did decrease my price. I did decrease my asking price just a little bit, but I listed them for 60, had a sale running on for 10%, so they sold uh, for $53.99, and I was definitely still very happy with this sale because it sold within about two weeks, and I think I spent eight bucks for this massager. Next up, we actually have some more home security cameras these are actually from Samsung and I had four of these in total um, one person picked up two of these and it, for the total order it was $71.98 and really really good sale for these once again picked these up from a goodwill and it was a bag of four of them for only 10 bucks and these were is they definitely wasn't in the best condition cosmetically i had to clean these up made sure that they looked really good because of course they are outdoor security cameras so they did have some dust and some dirt on them 
But once I was able to clean these up, I knew I was going to get at least between 30 and 40 bucks a piece. One person picked up two of them, so that was a really good sale. Next up, and this is one of my favorite brands to sell. If you guys are familiar with the channel, you guys know I always mention at least one or two Netgear items. And this is actually a router modem combo. And this one sold for 129 bucks. Uh, the model number on this one is CAX30S. First time picking this one up, but anytime I see these types of, you know, unique looking modem slash router combos, I know that they're usually going to sell for at least 80 bucks. So sometimes I don't even necessarily have to look up the model number. But if you guys were to go to say Best Buy or Target, a lot of these modems sell for like 200, sometimes 300 bucks. That's why a lot of people tend to go to eBay to try to buy a used one. So as long as it isn't still connected to a previous service provider, you can definitely sell them on eBay. And I usually sell them uh, fairly consistently. I sell maybe 20 to 30 of these a month because I'm always finding these. And this one sold for 129, picked this one up for $12. So definitely a really good deal. Next up, you have a pair of shoes, and this is one of my favorite brands to sell. It's Hoka 1-1. A lot of you guys are familiar with this one. This was the size 12, and the model on these are the Carbon X3s. These sold for $59.99. Took about two weeks for these to sell. I uh, also believe I spent about 10 bucks on these shoes. They were in really good condition. I still did have to clean the midsole on these because they are outdoor running shoes, so they did have a couple stains on them. But I try my best to clean shoes as best as possible, especially nowadays considering the market. And, you know, a lot of people are not necessarily cleaning their shoes before they try to sell them. So for me, I try to make sure my shoes just stand out just a little bit more than some of the other competition, clean them up a little bit. And with these shoes, I was able to get 60 bucks. So definitely a really good sale. Next up, we actually have this electric instant water heater and the brand on this one was actually called Enzo and really good brand. This one sold for $67.99. Um, this one actually went to Puerto Rico. People always tend to ask me if I sell internationally or if I use the global shipping program. And for me, I definitely use the global shipping program. I just think it's a much easier way to sell internationally on eBay. I do know that a lot of people try to avoid using the uh, GSP just so that they can attract more buyers because the global shipping program is definitely a much more expensive option for buyers but i view it this way um if you charge international shipping ebay is going to take their fee they usually take a much larger fee because of course you're going to have to charge a lot more for international shipping but if you just use the global shipping program it goes to i think kentucky or chicago and based on your location and for me shipping to chicago is a lot cheaper than shipping out to even new york city so at the end of the day if they're willing to spend the money i'm willing to sell it next up we actually have this johnsonville sausage grill and i at first i wasn't going to pick this one up mainly because i tend to see a lot of these types of george foreman grills and things that look like them pretty often in thrift stores so i usually don't uh, waste my time searching them but since this one did say johnsonville and i've sold johnsonville grills in the past I was able to check this one out and this one was selling for right about 50 bucks um, I made sure I grabbed this one up and this was during a time I had a 15% off promotion so this one sold for 42 49 and of course I charged shipping for that one as well and I spent eight dollars for this grill so definitely a good sale and anytime I come across the Johnsonville stuff moving forward I'm probably just gonna grab them up because they typically do sell anywhere between 40 and 80 bucks depending on the model of course next up we got this pair of vintage Salvatore Ferragamo loafers and these were in fairly decent condition it did have a ton of creasing on there as well and I usually try to you know buff up some shoes polish them make them look a little better but with this shoe in particular I didn't have anything to make them look really good without potentially damaging them so I just listed them as is for $60 and they sold the same exact day so for that reason I probably listed them a little too cheap I probably should have charged maybe 70 possibly even $80 but considering the overall condition I decided to just list them for 60 and they sold really really quickly and the good thing about this is that I spent $10 on these shoes and they sold at the same day that I listed them. So uh, one thing about these is that they, they were a size 11 and a half 
and the width was an A. So that was another reason why I decided to list them on the cheaper end because I know 11 and a half isn't like one of the best sizes to sell. But once again, sold really quickly. So that just goes to show that you really never know. Sometimes some of these items that may have be not the best size or the best condition, sometimes it might take a while to sell and then sometimes it might sell immediately. So still pick it up as long as it's a good brand. Next up we have the Sonos Zone Player and anything from Sonos I usually always pick it up because Sonos is one of those brands that sell really really well for me. Sonos just like Bose is you know one of those brands that I love to pick up. Uh, this one sold for 50 bucks. Took about two weeks for this one to sell and I think I spent eight dollars on this one. Uh, the good thing with this is that it included the power cable as well as the aux cable as well. So I just bundled them all together and I was able to get 50 bucks for this. I've sold some Sonos speakers in the past for as much as $200, but this one only sold for $50. But if you ever come across some of their amplifiers or any of their other connective uh, systems, definitely grab those up because they usually sell for about $100 to $150. But at first glance, they don't look like something that might be super valuable. But there's people that just really love Sonos and, you know, they may be just audiophiles and they love how it sounds. So definitely be on the lookout for those. All right, y'all, that's all I have for today's video. Let me know which one of these was your favorite sale mine personally was of course that canon power shop mainly because it sold for so much money and it sold in a relatively quick amount of time as well if you guys haven't already make sure that you guys check out my what sold video on poshmark i shared some more clothing items that sold on that app as well and I have an older eBay video in terms of what's sold on there. More electronics, more shoes, more stuff for you guys to be on the lookout for. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.